So a question that gets asked quite often is how do I set up a default custom scene for Cinema 4D? And today I'm just going to go through the PC version. I'm not sure how you do it for the Mac, but I do know the um, trick for the PC. So this is my custom scene. Basically every time I start Cinema 4D, I've got some basic material set up, which is quite handy. I put my render setting set up, so anti-aliasing. I've got um, I've got a file save already set up, and it's set to render uh, 120 frames animation. So if I just click render to picture viewer, straight away I get my animation, and it's saved to this folder. And a few other options that I quite like. And so basically the trick is. Just set, set up your scene the way you like it. So render settings, materials, even layers. You can stick a couple of objects in here. And um, you can even like click uh, point animation, things like that. So I've got this checked automatically, point level animation. And then what to do is go to file, save as. And what you want to do is go to your uh, user folder. So, so in my case, it's, um, how do I get to it? Click on computer, C, users. So my PC is called uh, Pro, double click Pro. And then you've got a hidden app data folder. And to see hidden uh, files, basically just go to, um, where is it? Folder and search options and file explorer. And then you can go to view show hidden files, folders and drives, make sure that's check, uh, checked. So go into the app data folder, go to roaming, it should be a Maxon folder, and uh, you'll see this folder, it might have a slightly different number here, but it's basically Cinema 4D, R14, blah blah blah, double click that, and then basically you just want to save two files, new.cinema4d and template.cinema4d. So I'm not going to overwrite this, but basically I just kind of hit save here. And then every time uh, you start up Cinema4d after that, you'll have your default scene ready and uh, ready to go. And you'll save a lot of time. So um, I'll do the Mac tutorial next. Um, I'm sure it's kind of equally simple, but um, I know the PC version and that's how you do it. So, oh, and another thing is basically I've got some like custom buttons and stuff set, uh, set up here. That's nothing to do with uh, saving the scene. To set up uh, custom kind of palettes and buttons, you just right click and you go to um, customize palettes. And this is kind of separate from your scene file. So I can add like a group separator, I can uh, have a look through here, um, add a shortcut, just drag and drop. If you want to get rid of it, double click it, and then just close that to uh, kind of exit the mode. And just make sure uh, edit palettes is checked when you open it. So if you combine that with um, a default scene, you can get a heavily customized uh, Cinema 4D startup um, configuration. So uh, that's just a quick tip tutorial, and uh, thanks for watching.